liquid gold. All right, poaching an egg. This is one of those techniques that freaks people out. I don't know why poaching an egg is super easy. It's kind of fail safe. And in fact, there's three different ways to make it perfectly. I'm gonna show you all of them. All right, so first things first, you're gonna poach an egg, you need eggs. We use large eggs in the Bon Appetit test kitchen. I just believe in large eggs. Jumbos sort of freak me out for some reason. We're gonna come over here and all you need is simmering water. You're gonna wanna make a nice vortex. We're talking like tornado, Mach 5 situation. So the egg goes right in. All right, so how long are we cooking this egg for? I say two and a half minutes and I always use my phone. It's the one thing Siri is good for. But it's probably been half a minute, I'm setting this for two. It's really cooking, right here in front of us. All right, so let's pick this guy up. Oh, looking so nice. So this to me feels like baby cheek, like a nice plump baby's cheek. So we didn't season the water and we didn't season the egg at all, so I like to aggressively season it afterwards. Totally into it. All right, now I'm gonna show you it's a style of poached egg that I saw a lot in Australia. Every place I went to for brunch, and they're really big on breakfast there, had the poached egg with the yolk kind of at one end and this long tail, like a comet's tail, of the white stretched out behind it. So I'm gonna do the vortex again. This time I'm using a whisk, because this is such a deep pot. Kind of just gotta trust the wave. Do you see that? Look, it's like space. It's outer space. Let's see this guy. It's a little more oblong. This is this like crazy Calabrian chili oil. A little yogurt to put out the fire. Always with the salt. This is gonna be a super spicy bite. It tastes more Australian somehow. Who's hungry? Is anybody hungry? Would you eat an egg if I made eggs? Uh, okay, they're gonna eat the eggs. So the trick with doing big batch poached eggs, one is that you need kind of a wider pot so that you have a lot of surface area on the bottom. The other trick to it is that you're gonna put the eggs in about 30 seconds apart. But the key thing is an ice bath. Um, this is gonna stop the cooking of the eggs immediately. And then you can store them in the cold water. I would say three days, no problem. And then when it's time for breakfast, you bring another pot of water to a simmer, lower the eggs back in, and then you can take it to the plate. Grits? Who wants an egg? Anybody? I do. So there you have it. We did a perfect egg for one. We did perfect eggs for if you're Australian, and we did perfect eggs for a crowd. So now if you're not making poached eggs, what are you doing?